I am subscribed to the ex-Muslim subreddit. I'm not an ex-Muslim. But I do think that it's great to hear, you know, stories from people who want to get out of Islam. But they can't because you know how that religion is with apostasy. And came across one post. And here's the title. I was instantly banned from our LGBT after posting this map comparing Islam and LGBT rights. So, of course, you all know where this is going. I guess he was on an LGBT subreddit and they were talking about the way that they're treated, I guess. And this guy does nothing except Post a map. A map comparing how uh, the gay community is treated in one part of the world and how they're treated in the uh, other part of the world. And he was banned for it. Here's one of the comments from this post. It goes, Ugh. As a queer person who lives in a Muslim country... I hate the way people ignore all the issues with the way Muslim countries treat LGBT rights. In my country, the punishment for gay relationships is imprisonment. But if your family kills you, no one will care because you're queer. They don't see how their refusal to acknowledge the reality of things can make queer people from these countries feel alienated. Don't get involved if you don't want to, but don't dismiss people who want to talk about these issues either. This is part of the reason I feel out of place in most queer communities. Even if the people are perfectly lovely, criticizing Islam is immediately seen as Islamophobia in some places. And I can't relate to many of the topics. That being said, I can understand why people were suspicious of the post. I checked to see the comments and it came and it can seem like you only posted it to lessen the struggles of queer people in other countries or raise anti-Islam sentiment which is equated to racism and xenophobia. And if you aren't part of the queer community, I'm not sure whether you are or not, it can make it even worse. So let me get this straight. I'm not gay. But if I had the audacity to point out how gay people are treated in countries dominated by Islam, I'm the bad guy? How the fuck does that work? Please, tell me. And, and again, people are saying anti-Islam is, is racism. Muslims are not a race. Islam is not a race. And the, you have some people that will say, well, you know, most Muslims or Arabic, so therefore, if you're anti-Islam, you're probably racist against Arabs. Okay, I also hate Mormonism. Most Mormons are white. So if I fucking hate Mormonism, that would have to mean, by your logic, that I hate white people. Right? Don't say that it doesn't, because I'm simply using your stupid fucking logic and applying it to something else. Just to see if you'll stick with it, of course. But I know you probably don't. Because people that think this way are fucking idiots. Why the fuck would you want to silence somebody who's on your side? This person is an ex-Muslim. So I'm pretty sure that they know a little bit more about Islam than some goddamn far-left Fucking, you know what? SJW is too fucking tame of a fucking phrase. We need a fucking harsher word to describe these people because those are just three fucking letters. I don't know how to describe this person. 